Hey, it's Zadie, and you are watching my channel, Flick Cartina. Welcome to another episode of I Finally Watched. Uh -huh. Pain. So if you didn't realize, my upload schedule has been kind of wonky lately, and that's just because of a lot of different things, actually. Life in general, and then this whole virus thing that happened has seriously put some halts on this channel and my dedication to it. I am still fully dedicated to it, it's just that my upload schedule has completely changed and I don't have very much of a backlog to rely upon. And so that makes it kind of difficult to film videos when I'm moving or trying to escape a virus or I can't go and see new movies so I can't do movie reviews of them. For those of you who follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you'll know that I've been posting daily updates on my Instagram via Instagram TV about movies that I watch every day because we're in quarantine and I have nothing better to do. So if you want, the links to my social media are down below and you can go check those videos out if you are interested in them. So let's get into what I actually wanted to talk about today and today I wanted to talk about marriage story. Oh my goodness, that movie is painful. Properly shows the accuracy and demonstration of what it's like to be married in a broken relationship, but also at the same time not over dramatizing everything. There are ups and downs. There's hot points and cold points. And then there's these like neutral times where you're just like, well, we're just living and we can't really do anything about it what our situation is so we might as well make the best of it. Those kinds of things, just the little nuances like that was what made it so memorable to me and I could see why it was awarded, not awarded, but nominated as for an Academy Award. The performances in them were so dynamic and diverse. There wasn't a moment in the movie where I felt like I could look away. And even in the moments where it was time for the audience to breathe, I was still invested in the story and I was very aware of what important parts were hidden within those breathing moments. Overall, I really liked this movie and I did enjoy what it brought to the table and what kind of social issues it brought to light. That's just kind of what this industry is doing now. It's starting to bring in all these hard-hitting movies that are powerful and impactful and it really gives you a sense of attitude change in yourself or it towards other people who have been there through those things. Because we tend to stereotype some things like divorcees. If you had a divorce in a movie, most likely it was over a bad, very big issue. But sometimes it was just over a really small thing like, I don't know, not making your eggs the right way. But some of the things that I did not enjoy were things that I'm pretty sure were intentional in things that you were like, I really don't like that and I'm pretty sure the creators wanted me to not like that. It's kind of funny because you were, because you started off with the both of them and both of their perspectives and then you broke off and started in the wife's perspective, which was Scarlett Johansson's character, and you understood things from her point of view and you're like, wow, yeah, it's, you're right, you're, you're on the right side. And then you switch from her through the child to Adam Driver's character who also believes that they're right and he thinks that he is the, in the right version of this relationship and that his opinion should be heard too. And you're looking at it and you're like, yeah, I agree with you too. And then they come together and they have this big fight and you're like, oh my gosh, who was... They both have valid points. What tends to happen in movies is that the creators tend to take one side or the other. Most of the time when they're on the wife side, it's a feminist agenda, and when they're on the man side, it's something else, like they're, they're showing the emotional side of a man. But they did both at the same time, and so it was kind of amazing to see that happen on screen. I would have loved to see the process in which this writing took. This movie is definitely not for the general audience. It has a very specific audience that it's trying to hit. And some of the angles were so cool and the long takes really drew you in emotionally and into the story. And I think a lot of the decisions creatively were geared towards filmmakers and the Academy and people who would watch a movie 
in order to to gain some intellectual analysis from it. It's not for the common audience goer who is just going to a movie to have some fun. This movie wrecks you, absolutely wrecks you, but it's beautiful and it's fantastic and the storytelling is amazing. I think we've gotten a lot better at storytelling in the sense of with the hard-hitting issues, but with the other things that are happening, like Marvel movies, um, some of the recent ones have not been the best storytelling wise, and so I think we need to up that kind of gain. I recently rewatched Captain America the First Avenger, and that storytelling was beautiful. It was simple, straightforward. They did it so well with all of these different um, pieces of dialogue and then these just the silence or just a certain shot that they used. It was so beautiful. But to really bring this point home, I really liked Marriage Story and I really enjoyed the kind of point of view and analysis that it brought to certain light on this social justice issue. So the question for this week is what's a movie that you have never seen that is considered a classic? Let me know in the comments down below but before you scroll all the way down like this video, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell. The like button is for me to know that you like this video and the content that this video provides. The subscribe button lets me know that you really like my channel and will keep watching more and encourages me to make more videos. And the bell notification icon is actually specifically for you so that you are one of the first people to know when I upload a new video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great Aaron of Thursday. I will see you on the other side of the screen. Bye.